Hey guys, Gary here and welcome to this video that I'm doing to talk about the PlayStation 4. Now this is because Sony is putting on a conference tomorrow at around 11pm GMT uh, to do with an announcement they have. Now everyone's going and saying it's the PlayStation 4. There is a chance that it may not be, uh, but the odds are stacked in the PS4's favour. So I'm going to talk about what I'd want to see in the PlayStation 4. And it's a good chance for you guys in the comment section to leave what you want to see in the PlayStation 4 if I do miss anything. And I'll answer back with my opinions on what you have written. Anyway, the first thing I want to note on is a better UI. That is user interface if you're not aware. And, you know, it's an entertainment system, not just a gaming system these days. And it's got to fit well into the living room because there's going to be a range of ages using it. If the user interface isn't that clear, clear, isn't that easy to use, then it's going to put off some of the older generation that may use it for its Blu-ray capabilities, for its in, uh, web streaming capabilities, like things like YouTube, Netflix, and, you know, just in general as a family console. So um, it needs to be fluid, instant, you know, something that the PlayStation 3 didn't have is if you're in a game and you're trying to pull up uh, the menu system to, to reply to a message, it took a painfully long time to load up that menu and do all the things it had to do, mainly because there wasn't enough memory dedicated to the menu while you're running a game. Yes, it meant you could give more memory to the game to get a better performance out of it, but, you know, when you're trying to use it day to day, it got a bit tedious. So, I'd like to see, you know, this is a more powerful console that can easily do it. Uh, put some side RAM uh, just to that user interface so that it's fluid. Snap, just, I want, it should snap. You hit that button, it should come up instantly. It's something that Crazy Randoms uh, is a big thing of, and I completely agree with him. It should be something instant, not something you're waiting five minutes to pop up every time you push it. So that's a big thing. Now, a second thing, something that PlayStation yet again missed on the last console, is its features. It's got a lot of cool features, yes, but it's not as feature-rich as its competition. Its biggest competition, of course, the Xbox 360, something it has had for a while, which is party chat while in-game. The PlayStation still doesn't support this, and this is still to do with the fact that the hardware in the PS3 just can't cope with it while in a game. You know, if it struggles loading up the menu, it's not going to handle that while running a separate, you know, party chat while you're in the game. The Vita, however, has it as a feature. It's something they made sure it had. So, the chances are the PlayStation 4 is going to have it. If it doesn't, then they are seriously behind in its features. They need to have it. I was thinking earlier today, possibly a webcam chat. How many is going to use it? I don't know. But if, it, if you can use any webcam, maybe you can have like a little corner, of the, uh, like an image in the corner of the person you're talking to. And you can see them while you're playing your game. I don't know. It could work. Uh, things as well, I'd like to see, you know, music, uh, being able to play to any games. You can, like with the Xbox, all you have to do is hit, bring up the menu while you're in the game. Sex and music you want to play it and play it. No matter what game you're playing, it'll play through. I know if you're playing like a cinematic game, you don't really want to do that. But if I'm just playing some Call of Duty, I want to be able to do that. I don't want to have to only be able to do it on a game that supports uh, custom music. I want to be able to do it in any game. So things like that, I want to see. I'm not going to th go through a load of features that I'd like to see because I just want it to be feature rich. I want them to come up with some new, fresh ideas, and I want to be surprised and think, wow, you know, they've really tried hard at this, and the UI is good, and they've, you know, they've really thought about it. So that's what I'd like to see. Second, uh, thirdly, sorry, uh, I'd like to see a lot of support from third parties. This is a really big thing. If the third parties don't jump on the bandwagon for the PS4, then, you know, it's not going to do as well because, you know, it's not being backed up as well in the Call of Duty community because it's not being supported so well by Call of Duty themselves. So I'd like to see Activision, I'd like to see EA, I'd like to see all these third party publishers to really get on the back of it. If Activision are going, yeah, we really support this console, and you're not only like, oh yeah, we're going to support it, we'll bring you know Call of Duty to the PS4, I want this to be like, you know, yeah, we're really going to support it, we're going to really put all into it, maybe it's time for Sony to get some DLC early, I don't know. It seems unlikely, because I think the contract is still going on with Microsoft, so at the moment it could still be going Microsoft's way, but... It would be nice to see that they've actually made some partnership with Activision and really made some strong connections there, because they really do need it. Uh, they've only really got a strong connection at the moment with people like EA and uh, you know getting a DLC early for Battlefields uh, and things like that. They really need to get an overall, because uh, if you control the third parties and they're really interested, then everyone's going to jump on the, the easiest platform. So hopefully it'll work in their favour this year. I'd like to see more PS Vita and PS4 support. So getting them two together, getting, you know, as, as Apple would do get them all talking to each other in a world you know so that when you buy one product it talks to the other really easily uh, so I know they've done it already with the PS Vita and the PS3 but I'd like to see this really pushed out because you know you've got the Wii U out there at the minute that has the little tablet thing I think Sony could really easily make the Wii U absolutely useless 
uh, by adding on the support with the PS Vita to the PS4, making more games support it. Secondary screen is a really good thing. I think should really support it uh, on the PS4. If they, you know, if I don't see any support for the PS Vita, I will be disappointed. Even though I don't have one, I still like to see the support there because it means they're still thinking about it for the long term. Now, uh, the next thing on the list, I'm not counting, um, a more ergonomic controller. Now, the controller has been leaked onto the web, and I'm going to ignore what I've seen on the web because that was a prototype, okay? That has actually be confirmed by Sony and that was probably made ages ago and, the, and you know the final design is going to be a little different um, I'll, I'll you know I'll just keep in mind what I had there but anyway I want a mer more ergonomic controller as a whole I almost lost it there but uh, a more ergonomic controller as a whole I want it to feel good in my hands you know make the the joysticks maybe slightly longer I, I use FPS FPS freaks all the time I'd like those FPS freaks to kind of be integrated into the joystick they need to be bigger because they really do help it really helps with the movement you can be more accurate so I'd like to see that I'd also like to see the joystick slightly wider apart not by much but uh, just enough to make it a little more comfortable so your thumbs aren't stretching over quite as much um, now we've seen this kind of like touchscreen uh, in the center of the the controller on these leaked images. Now possibly that could become an LCD screen. You know, just for little things like showing messages. Like if you have a message, it pops up in a little LCD screen. Any little tips of information, maybe objective, like a single objective. I'm not talking about like a big Wii U screen. I'm talking the same size as that little touchpad we saw on uh, that image. Just maybe an LCD screen as well, so that you know maybe doubles as both. He doesn't have to be using an LCD screen all the time, but it's a touchscreen, right? Right? So you can you know, kind of use it for both if you want a little objective, little piece of information. I don't want it taking up the whole controller. I don't want it to make the controller a tablet size. A little bit there would actually help because I think it does add more to uh, you know the console as a whole. And you don't literally have to pop up the menu to see the message. You can see the message maybe written out on the little screen as well. I think that would be really, really cool. So that's just a little extra thing. You know, it's a possibility. I'd like to see it maybe. It depends how well it's implemented. And the last thing I really have written down, because I don't have too much, I want Sony to kind of surprise me more on the day on what they're bringing in. I don't want to make too many assumptions because I don't want to be disappointed as well at the same time. So if I want them to kind of go, look, this is what we want to share with you guys. I want to kind of see what they've got to offer. But anyway, I want to see something continue from the PS3. And that is the hardware support. That's something that Sony's done really, really well. And I mean this by keeping the doors open, more of an open platform. You know, Xbox are really clamping, clamped down on, you know, you can only use headsets that have that specific connector that has to work in that way. And they can of control in the market. You know, only these type of controllers that are uh, certified by Microsoft can work and things like this. It gets really tedious and annoying. You know, with Sony, on the other hand, you know, if it, my Blue Yeti mic works on my PS3, I can hear audio like both ways their mic and my mic just by USB if I plugged it into the Xbox it would know what it's doing plug in the PS3 it works first time any Bluetooth headset it doesn't matter if it's one for a different for phone or anything like that a Bluetooth headset is a Bluetooth headset and it works on the PS3 it doesn't matter as long as a Bluetooth headset it works and things like that I want to see I don't have to buy into things all the time. I want to have my options open. You know, I don't want to have to buy a certified headset, a certified, you know, thing, because at the end of the day, you start paying over the top for things and you control the market. Yes, it's a really good marketing scheme because, you know, you control the market and you make more profit. As a marketing thing for Sony, I completely see why they would do it. But as a consumer, I hope they just keep things uh, the way it is and the way it should be, uh, where you can just go and buy third party. It supports the, the market a lot more, and it makes more sense, in my opinion. It's something that has annoyed me on the Xbox um, a little more than I'd like to admit. But there we go. Um, so, as I said, in the comments section now, put in anything you want to see. The conference is tomorrow. What do you want to see? Leave it in there right now uh, on the new PlayStation. Maybe anything else you want to see announced uh, at the same time, possibly, or instead of the PS4. Anything you're thinking of right now, pop it in that comment section down below. I'll have a look through it and answer back. And I like to consider this like a forum, and I think it's a really good way to do that on this video. So, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe to me for more content. Hello to any new people. And I will see you on the next video. As always, drink tea and game on.